Hello Gift of Life volunteers! Welcome to the Volgistics web tutorial. Volgistics is a new online volunteer management software that we are using at Gift of Life to better serve you, our volunteers. This tutorial is designed to introduce you to a really neat aspect of Volgistics called the Volunteer Portal. The Volunteer Portal provides a space for you to get all of the information you need about volunteering with Gift of Life in one place. You can read mail, you can check your schedule, you can even see your past service hours. But before we go on, I do want to emphasize that the Volunteer Portal is an optional tool for you if you are interested and able to use it. We are all still available by phone, by mail, or in person. All the ways you are used to communicating with us. So if you cannot access the internet, or if you are not comfortable with this new software just yet, that's okay. The Volunteer Portal is a way to enhance your volunteer experience should you choose to use it. Okay, so let's roll right into what you can do with this new software. First things first, you'll need to access the Volunteer Portal. To do this, you want to bring up whichever web browser you use, whether it's Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, any of these will be able to access the Volunteer Portal. Once you open your web browser, you should type www.donors1.org into the web browser. And go ahead and click enter. You should now be looking at Gift of Life Donor Program's website. At the top of the page is a list of menu items. As you roll your cursor over them, you'll see that different options drop down. When you get your cursor over the menu item which reads Volunteer, you can scroll your cursor down to the final option which says Volunteer Portal and click on it. This opens a separate page with a link to the login page for the Volunteer Portal. So go ahead and click on that link now. You are now looking at the login page for the Volunteer Portal. Your login name is the email address you use to communicate with Gift of Life. Make sure to enter your full email address in this space. We are going to log in as everyone's favorite volunteer, Heartman. Your password was included in the email we recently sent you, introducing you to Volgistics. It is most likely a string of numbers. Go ahead and enter that password into the password space now. If you did not receive a password, you can click Forget Your Password right here, and another one will be emailed to you. If you have any more questions, just email me at ecoin at donors1.org and we'll figure it out. Okay, so let's assume you've got your correct password in there. Go ahead and click Go. You should now be redirected to the main page of the Volunteer Portal. And this is where the magic happens. So we're going to take some time to go through the Volunteer Portal now and show you just some of the things it can offer for you. First, if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see that over on the left-hand side of the page, we have more information about the new partnership between Facebook and Donate Life America. This left-hand column will often provide upcoming events or information about exciting new opportunities. And this will change frequently, so make sure you visit this main page to learn more. If you want to learn more about this partnership, you can put your mouse over this image here and, and click on it. That brings up a separate page that has more information about this partnership. And it's really exciting, so if you haven't, have, haven't had a chance to look at it yet, I encourage you to do so. We're going to click out of here now. 
If you scroll down further, you'll see that at the bottom there is a link to the volunteer feedback form. Please make sure to complete this form after each event you do. It helps us know all of the important and great work you guys are doing out in the community, and it also helps us keep track of your service hours. So you can still access the feedback form from the Donors One website, or you can access it here by clicking on the Heartman logo. That brings up the feedback form. You can maximize it and fill it out as you like. For now, we are going to X out of this page. I'm going to scroll up just a little bit more. On the right-hand side of the page, you'll see that we have listed all of our upcoming coalition meetings. That way you can choose between which meetings you'd like to go to. The dates are listed here. If you'd like more information on where the meetings are located or what goes on at each meeting, you can contact me and my email address is listed at the bottom of that box. And as I scroll up a bit more, you'll see that these are all of the assignments that Heartman is scheduled for. Many of you will also have numerous assignments, which is a great thing. Harman is a trained speaker. He's involved with guest services. He's involved with Hearts of Gold, the Delaware Coalitions, and Liaisons for Life. He'll be able to see information for all of these assignments in the volunteer portal. He will not be able to see information for assignments that he is not scheduled for. If you click on one of these assignments, it will bring up a separate page with more information about the duties and responsibilities for that volunteer opportunity. So we're going to go ahead and X out of here now. Go back to the main page. Next we're going to go ahead and look at the Mail tab. You are able to receive mail through the volunteer portal. All of the messages that we send you to the portal are also sent to you through email. So you'll get them through your email even if you're not visiting the volunteer portal regularly. However, this is a good way for you to keep track of all of the messages you get from volunteer services in one place. You'll see that Heartman does not have any new messages, but he does have an old message. And if you click on it and scroll down, you'll see a little bit more information about that message. Basically just us thanking him for volunteering for the Italian Market Festival this coming weekend. So we're going to scroll back up. Next we're going to go to My Profile. For us here at Volunteer Services, this is the most important tab for you to visit. And it's because this is where you update your contact information. If you scroll down a little bit, first and foremost, you can upload a picture of yourself. I really encourage you to do this. That way we're able to show pictures of you um, when we're acknowledging your great service, as well as match names with faces. Um, and it's just a really helpful tool for us. To do this, you want to make sure that you have a photo of yourself somewhere on your computer already. You then click Upload, Browse, and then you want to find in your computer where that photo is saved. So my photo is saved in Pictures. I'm going to scroll down, and it's saved as Heartman Photo. I am going to open that photo and click Upload. Okay, the photo does need to be square, so I am going to move this box over the part of the photo that I would like volunteer services to be able to see, and I can resize it as I'd like, and then I'm going to hit submit. And if you scroll back up, you'll see that your photo is now uploaded onto your profile. As you scroll down, you'll see these are the places where you can update your contact information. If you have more than one phone number, please do enter it. Um, if you have a new email address, please do enter that as well. If you're moving or if we have an incorrect address for you, I ask that you email me um, with that information. When you update any section here, you want to make sure that you hit save afterwards so that we don't lose that information. So we're going to scroll down a little bit. You can update your birthday, your gender. If there's a website that you have, um, we'd be happy to visit it. You can indicate your availability when you're free for events and activities. You can enter emergency contact information, and I really, really encourage you to do so. Um, and if you are employed and feel comfortable, you can enter your employer's information. And this is a great way for us to continue to recognize the good work that you do. So we're going to scroll up a little bit. 
And under demographics, we are going to indicate that Hartman is a relative or friend of someone who is involved with transplant or donation. If you feel comfortable, please go ahead and indicate your relationship to transplant. It is not necessary to do so, however. And then I'm going to click Save. Okay. We're going to go over to Hartman's schedule now. If we scroll down, you'll see that Hartman is scheduled for two events on May 19th and May 20th through Liaisons for Life, and we have the time listed right here. If you click on that event, it'll bring up more information. So on Saturday, May 19th, Hartman is scheduled from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. through Liaisons for Life at the Italian Market Festival. Further, because Hartman is also involved with guest services, he's able to see who will be volunteering with guest services that day, as well as um, any other Liaisons for Life volunteers doing good work that day. We're now going to go over to My Service History. Please note that we are still updating your past events from the year 2012. Um, and so your service hours for this year may not be accurate yet. However, all service hours will be up to date by June 1st. Um, in order to track family house hours, it's very important that you use the touchscreen computer in the volunteer workroom to sign in and sign out. Um, and in order to track donor program hours, make sure that you always complete a feedback form after you participate in any volunteer opportunity. So if you go down here, you'll see that Hartman completed 11 hours in 2011 and three hours so far in 2012. If you click on 2012 and scroll down, brings up a little bit more information about what Hartman's been up to um, and you'll see that on May 6, 2012 he did three hours of service. If you click on that date and scroll down, you'll see that that was through guest services. So this is helpful for you to look back over the hours that you've completed so far this year. The final tab, Account, is where you can change your password. So if you're having a hard time remembering that string of numbers, that's completely understandable. You can go ahead and enter your own password there um, so that it's easier for you to remember. Make sure to always hit Save after you update any information. And when you're done with the volunteer portal, you just hit Exit and we appreciate your service. Log in again soon to check new information. So I look forward to seeing you all on the portal. If you have any further questions or concerns, you can always contact me at ecoin at donors1.org or jamie at jkozlowski at donors1.org. Thanks so much.